Hi, my name is Lindsay, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing really well tonight. I'm going to be honest. Today has been one of those days. It's so yeah, being a really awesome day, you guys. It was all uh, like, oh, and you know what? <clears throat> I even did spiritual warfare for somebody today, and then the enemy threw a wrench at me. And, uh, and I knew, I knew immediately, I knew immediately. I was like, mm, this is because I did spiritual warfare, but I'm not, I, I would be lying if I said that it didn't get to me a little bit. Cause it did. I had to spend some time with the Lord before I came like, and, and it's one of those things where it's like, everything's going great. Right. And like, okay. Obviously, I'm thinking about, you know, while I'm at work today, I'm going to come in, I'm going to come home and make a video tonight, right? So, of course, this would happen between the time that I'm like putting on my makeup and getting ready. But it's fine. It's fine. So, we're going to pray. We're going to pray because obviously I need to. And then we're going to get into this. Okay, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just praise you and I thank you, God, for this day. And I thank you for everyone that you bring to my channel, God. I ask that you would get a hold of me tonight, get a hold of my words. I give all of this over to you, Lord. I surrender to you. And I ask, God, that you would give um, the viewers ears to hear and eyes to see and a heart that longs to know you. And Lord, I just praise you for the trials and for the blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Okay. Griffin, do not test me tonight. <laughs> My cat, she's being kind of hungry. I have no idea where she gets it. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so we are in Luke 8 and verse 22. I was going to read something completely different tonight, y'all. But then I, like, accidentally found this. Um, and it really spoke to me. And I felt like, well, I'm probably not the only one out there who's had a bad day. So I'm going to pass this along to y'all. So this is Jesus calms the sea, okay? So now, on one of those days, Jesus and his disciples got into a boat. And he said to them, let us cross over to the other side of the lake, the Sea of Galilee. So they set out. But as they were sailing, he fell asleep. How many of y'all have felt like God has been asleep on you? I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Uh, like, I felt like that for a whole year. And I felt like that... At other times too, I mean these last few years, but especially last year. And it's hard. It's hard. Like when you feel like, you know, the Lord has forgotten you or that he's just like, mm, it gets discouraging. Anyways, so, and I'm come, I, I've come to find out the people in the Bible are us. I mean, basically, they were just human beings that lived in a different time. Okay. Okay, like, but as they were sailing, he fell asleep, and a fierce gale of wind swept down as if through a wind tunnel on the lake and they began to be swamped and were in great danger they came to jesus and woke him saying master master we are about to die <laughs> i have, i mean i felt like that i know like <laughs> many times in the past few years like i'm sure i've been a little dramatic i mean at times but i have felt that way like Especially this last year, like, 
I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. There was a point where I was like, can we just, like, will you just take us? Like, just take us. You know what? Just let the rapture happen. <laughs> I got to that point where I was just like, so it was hard. It was hard. And if the Lord had not placed some amazing people in my life, I would not have made it this last season. But he knew. He always does. And so anyway, and he said to them, where is your faith, your confidence in me? They were afraid and astonished, saying to one another, who then is this that he commands even the winds and the sea and they obey him? So, I mean, this, you know what? This always happens to me, too. Like, I remember in my early 20s reading the Bible and being so judgmental of the Israelites. And being like, why did they do that? Didn't they learn anything? And, <laughs> and now I sit here and I can see myself going, wow. <laughs> yeah. So... I, I remember, I, I do, I remember when I first started off my walk with the Lord and thinking, I think this is going to be a piece of cake. Because, you know, like when God first makes himself undeniably real to you, it's like you go through that honeymoon phase where you're just like, God, I feel his presence all the time. And it's awesome. But then you start to grow up in the Lord and you don't feel his presence all the time. And you get everything and the kitchen sink thrown at you. And it's Real fun, but you know what? You have to go through it because God has to crush your pride and he has to, uh, he has to work all of the demons like that you've come into agreement with, that you haven't realized that you've come into agreement with, that have become a part of your identity. He's got to work that out and deliver you, you know, get you set free from your human nature and um, that's a process and it's... <laughs> It's not fun. Okay. But it's worth it. So anyway, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I can so relate to this. I can so relate to this because there have been so many times in the past few years that I have had to borrow faith from some of my best friends in the world. Y'all know who you are. I would not have made it without y'all. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, so. <clears throat> but, I don't know. This just spoke to me tonight, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Like, if you're going through a rough time right now, and you feel like you can't take another step, hang on. If you have to, reach out to somebody. Um, read the Word of God, obviously. That's something I didn't do a whole lot of last year. I was angry at God for a whole year. And I didn't realize that I was angry at God. Until about a month ago. I, like, And it wasn't that I was trying to be prideful or being like, you know, but you're not supposed to be mad at God, right? And like, you get it in the back of your mind, like, well, if I'm mad at God, he's going to punish me. If I'm mad at God, then he's not going to bless me. God isn't like us. At all. Thank God. Anyway, so, all right, guys, um, I won't keep you much longer, but yeah. Lord, help us to have faith in you even when we can't see and even when it seems like the wind and the waves are just gonna capsize the boat help us lord in jesus mighty name amen and you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening and um i will see you soon in the next video